all right guys welcome back my name is mehul and in this video we're gonna see what images are in docker and uh, what what exactly does that mean by a docker image anyway so you see when i go to hub.docker.com we see there are some sort of official images some sort of official images which docker says like nginx mongodb alpine node.js redis right so these are some of the technologies we are all familiar with so if i go to like nginx for example you're gonna see that we get a bunch of images like these like supported tags and everything and you know uh, just like npm has we have a copy and paste this to pull this image now what the hell does this image in docker mean well remember the times when we used to install operating system like windows or ubuntu from iso files right we still do that now but you know we all have done that in the past with some cd drives or you know some iso burn on a cd or in a pen drive so you know that's how you install an operating system now that ISO file which you use that windows.iso or maybe ubuntu.iso that file actually is called as an image of that operating system that ISO file is not the operating system itself it's not a running container within itself it's not a running OS within itself but it's just the code which would allow you to installing an operating system right think of it as a setup a setup of a game is not an actual game but contains all the instructions to you know put the files here and put the files there add these many entries to the registry in windows and uh, you know just set up the whole environment thing so image is basically a setup of that particular thing now in docker what happens is for example if you take an ubuntu iso so what docker do is that it would create a first of all it will take ubuntu iso and it will create a minimal ISO of that minimal image of that Ubuntu, right? So for example, you have a full-blown Ubuntu operating system with you, but on Docker, if you find Ubuntu, it would be much, much less in weight, right? So if I go to the Ubuntu image, U-B-U-N-T-U, -U, I hope I spell it right. So I guess I didn't, Ubuntu, yeah this should be it all right so you see that we have a nice little uh, ubuntu image but this won't be as large as the main ubuntu iso file which you will get from the ubuntu's website why because that is a trimmed down minimal version sharing all the resources with the host operating system ubuntu so this is a docker image in the blue right in the black are the main images which are available on internet as a full-blown operating system and then images like nginx for example we just saw nginx right so nginx or even like mongodb so these images are derived images from these um, uh, these main operating systems so what happens is obviously you need some sort of operating system in order to run an application right so what happens is docker would say okay if you want to run nginx what you can do is we can use it as the base image would be ubuntu right so first of all we'll just install a very minimal version of ubuntu and then i'm going to install nginx for you as well so it's basically buying a cd from the market which resembles like a uh, like a ubuntu installation cd but what it does is when you install it on your computer it will not only just install ubuntu but would also install nginx on the top of it or maybe mongodb right it depends on what you're choosing so um yeah i mean you can specify the version number of nginx you want and then maybe the operating system associated with it right so these are some of the supported tags and you know alpine is one of the um flavors of linux which is a very lightweight thing right so yeah i mean this is how basically docker images are defined as so these are set of files for your containers which would include whatever you want sure you can on the top or you can just go ahead and install ubuntu and then you know just get into that that particular docker container or instance you're running and then install nginx yourself but well you know docker just provides it out of the box so why not just use it so the aim of uh, your product your company or startup should be to create an image of your software itself right so this is interesting so once you do that once you have an image of your own um, company, that means that you have some sort of ISO file, not really an ISO, but just think about it as an ISO, 
So as an ISO file, which you can just plug into anywhere and you know that ISO will install everything as your software and it will be deployed and ready and running. The best thing is it is stable across all the environments because Docker is containerizing it from all the external dependencies and everything. So you have to just set it up yourself from a clean slate. So yeah, this is how pretty much Docker images work and look like. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video and I'll see you then in the next one.